Anne Marnane. I'm one of the dietitians here at Newtown Nutrition. And I just wanted to talk a little bit today about World Eating Disorders Action Day, which is coming up very soon on the 2nd of June. Um, so this is an initiative that we're really happy to get involved with at Newtown Nutrition because it's all about drawing awareness to eating disorders and reducing stigma around them. Um, so the idea are there are these nine truths about eating disorders. And the first one that we're going to look at today is that many people with eating disorders might look healthy but actually be very, very unwell. And I think this is a really, really important one to start with because I've personally witnessed this with a number of my clients that they've had an experience at some stage where they've maybe reached out for help to like a friend or family member, maybe a health professional even, and they've, they've taken this brave step to, to try and ask for help or to open up to someone and it sort of felt a little bit brushed off like oh you know you you look okay so it can't be too bad or, or something like that this is really really distressing for people because you know it, it is a mental disorder this is a big part of this is going on inside that person's head and you can't tell from looking at a person how severe those those thoughts are and how all-consuming the thoughts about you know food and weight and shape and how horrible those thoughts might be and how much of a negative impact it's having upon that person's life. Um, you can have an eating disorder and have a weight which is in the healthy weight range. It could be above, it could be below, it could be any of those types of, of situations and, and that does not reflect what's actually going on inside the person's head. And so I think it's really important to be aware that you shouldn't judge a person by what they look like. Um, and this is why, this is the first truth. Um, and it's, a, it's one that we really think you know people should pay more attention to. So if you want to get more involved in World Eating Disorders Action Day, you can take the pledge, which is about committing to reducing stigma surrounding eating disorders, and we did, um, and recommend that everyone else does as well. So you go to worldeatingdisordersday.org, um, and you can take the pledge there. You can share this Facebook page or this link so that some of your friends and family have more of an understanding of eating disorders. And you can stay tuned and hear some more about the other nine truths um, later on this week. Okay, bye.